okay, you've got to listen to this because you could be throwing away good money. I'm Tiffany. I am a physician assistant, but also a GLP-1 advocate, and I help people get access to GLP-1s that can't get them with their traditional insurance. So if that's something that you're struggling with, there's some links over here in my bio that hopefully will help you out. Now, there has been a video circulating over the last couple of days that has got some major misinformation in it, and I'm going to clear that up for you all. So the video in question has someone who's not a healthcare professional talking about how if you have a compounded GLP-1 that after you puncture your vial that you must throw the vial away after 28 days even if you still have medication left in the vial. And this person talks about safety reasons, etc. And I'm here to tell you right now that it's absolutely incorrect. So let me tell you the real story about something we call beyond use states or BUDs. So a BUD should be actually printed on your vial. If it's not printed on your vial, then the medication is not good anyway. But you should be able to look on there and that will tell you that is you need to finish up the medicine by that date. It should not be used beyond that date. Now, notice I did not say anything about the date that the vial was punctured. Okay, it has nothing to do with puncturing the vial. But I have had some people come to me and say, but I've seen online that it does say 28 days after you puncture a vial, the medicine's no good. And what I will say to that is that that is not a universal rule. Your beyond you state is going to be unique to your vial because it has a whole lot to do with your manufacturer, what stabilizers and what additives they put and their manufacturing process. So the beyond you state on your vial tells you how long you can use your medicine safely and effectively as long as it's stored properly. Now the storage is also going to depend on your manufacturer. Most of the time it will ask you to store it in the refrigerator, but I actually have seen a few cases where the medication was meant to be stored at room temperature away from the light. So again, this is all depends on your manufacturer. Okay. So a lot of people ask me about keeping the vial or the medicine in the vial sterile, and there's literally only two things you can do to help with that. Number one, you need to wipe the top of the vial every single time with an alcohol swab before you draw the medicine up. Number two, you need to wash your hands with soap and water before you start doing your injections. That's it. So if you've seen this video and it's got you concerned and make you starting to think that you need to throw your medicine away after 28 days, then think again, I don't want you throwing away money because these medications can be expensive. So you make sure and look at your vial, see what your BUD is or your beyond use date and follow the instructions given to you by your pharmacy or manufacturer. If you have questions, drop them in the comments for me. I'd love to answer more.